Let's examine one ArcGIS Online map to illustrate some core functionality. Here is the My Content area. I'm signed into my ArcGIS Online account. I created a lesson about analyzing ecoregions in Colorado, and I use ArcGIS Online to teach that lesson. The data set is from the U.S. Forest Service, and I uploaded a set of ground-based photographs I had taken at certain points in Colorado. Let's go ahead and search for that. Here it is. I'm going to open it in the ArcGIS Online Map Viewer. I'm going to pop up a legend, and there's my data set. It's got the ecological provinces and also my photographs that I took at different locations so I can have the students look at how the ecoregion is reflected in different spots along certain points in the state. In other words, how did the water change? Is there any standing water? What's the vegetation like? What are the landforms like? Do you see any evidence of human habitation? And so on. The map is stored in an ArcGIS online environment. Think of it as your GIS cloud. You already use other services in the cloud. These services include Facebook, Google Drive, Picasa Web, Dropbox. You use ArcGIS online from an ordinary web browser as I am doing here. No login required at this point. I could be just in plain old not logged in mode ArcGIS online and go ahead and look for by point owner colon JJ Kursky. I can put an owner there if I know who created it and we'll talk about some key owners like Federal GIS Data Committee and so on but then I can open it up and I'm not even logged in here. See it says sign in. I'm not even signed in in this window. Okay, so you can pull this map up as well. You can also access ArcGIS Online on a mobile device such as a smartphone. If you want to save your maps, you need an SRE Global ID and a free account in ArcGIS Online. Now in this window, I have logged into my ArcGIS Online account. You can see the content I have stored here. One of the items is this Colorado Ecoregions map as I showed you earlier. ArcGIS Online also allows you to share maps with others, other people in your group, and that group can be your Physical Geography 301 course or other educators teaching AP Human Geography, for example, or with everyone with a web browser. I've shared my Colorado Ecoregions map with everyone. How did I create this map? I added the push pins by creating an editable layer. Let's look at my layers. See these map notes? All of those push, push pins are stored in this map notes editable layer. I added text to each pop-up. Not much, just a, a bit of text. Any data that I'm linking to has to be online, including my photographs. See, here's the URL of one of the photographs. And if I click on the photograph, it pops me to this URL, which is actually a movie of that site. Let's go ahead and take a look. So any data that I'm linking to has to be online, including my photographs. As you can see from my photographs here, they have to be on a website or in your Picasa Web, Flickr, Dropbox, Windows Live, etc. area, as long as they are in folders that are publicly accessible. I started with the Ecoregions map and added my own content as an editable feature service. Then I saved this map into my own area on ArcGIS Online and then shared it with you all. And that's why you can see it. Simple as that.